Hey, you have a student at home that just can't get out of bed at this time of the day. Well, we have two students joining us here this morning. Had no problems getting up and joining us, yeah. and we're excited. I, I, yeah, I wouldn't say no problems, but we definitely were able <laughs> no to at least. Okay. <laughs> Guys, introduce yourselves. Uh, okay, I'm Gavin Griffin. Uh, I'm a senior at Titusville High School, and I'm the president of our United Way uh, and Interact Club at the high school. All right. Um, I'm Alexa Drake. I am a senior at Titusville High School, and I am a director for United Way Student Interact. Mm -hmm. What is Titusville United Way Student Interact? So um, it's a combination of Rotary and United Way for students in the high school to get involved uh, in the community. So we do a lot both with United Way and Rotary, uh, but we're our own little club uh, in the high school. So we meet probably, what, twice a month? Yeah. Um, and put together some things like we're going to talk with you uh, about today. Great. So how many, uh, how many students are involved? Um, we have about, I would say, like 20 to 30. Really? Yeah, we've got, yeah, we've got we a good a group. group. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, is it, are you guys going out trying to recruit folks to join, or how does that work? Yes. Yeah. Um, um, even just like friends. We just say, <laughs> hey, come to the meeting, because they do it in school a lot of times. No, I know yeah. you have friends, but I don't know. <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, we have a pretty good group this year, and last year we, we had problems, obviously, with COVID, yeah. but um, <clears throat> it's been great this year so far. And we did stuff the bus in August. Yeah. Um, and now and, and that's now. what, gathering school supplies for yep. students? Yep. Uh, we, we go to Walmart and uh, ask people to buy school supplies and donate them for us to uh, stuff the bus, and then we donate them uh, to people who need them. So. Great. So who, who kind of sets out the guidelines or the, the mission for you guys? Is it United Way? Is it Rotary? Or do you guys go to them and say, here are things we want to take on? Well, um, our advisor what? is Stacy Ross, and she is um, obviously connected with both United Way and Rotary, so okay. it's a good way of when we want to do something, she can take it to both and kind of make sure it's okay. Yeah. 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 So did you find like uh, you sort of eased into this or was it like, hey, we got some ideas and we want to get going? It was kind of more like that. We kind yeah. of just, she asked us if we had any ideas and this was one that we came up with. And mm -hmm. we're also doing a, like, what was it? Uh, Easter a, dinner. Yep. Hand so, yes. Yeah, stuff like that. So. Yeah, we're going to have a lot of uh, things hopefully coming up here before the end of the school year. Yeah. yeah. All right. So what, what do you have for us, Gavin? What are you working on? So today we're here to talk with you about our um, 2022 hygiene drive. So we're going to be collecting uh, hygiene products from the 7th to the 18th of March. And we're going to have drop boxes um, all across the community. Do you want to go ahead and let them know what we're looking for? Yeah. So some things that we're looking for are just basic things that you would use every day to stay clean and feel good. So we want toothbrush, toothpaste, shampoo, conditioner, soap, tissues, deodorant, um, feminine hygiene products, hand sanitizer, washcloths, nail clippers even, combs, brushes, um, shaving cream, any of that stuff that you mm -hmm. would just think are a basic yeah. thing for hygiene. We would the the only thing that we won't be taking is um, any kind of medication or shaving uh, razors or blades, yeah. okay. um, but that's just because those are a little tough to, to work with sometimes, especially in the school. In the school, yeah. yeah. You guys lucked out. Today's my uh, day that I w once a month take a bath, so I mean. Oh, well, yeah. good. So you know a thing or two about hygiene yeah. today. It's very important. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but no, those are yeah. those are things that everybody needs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, I will say that, you know, those are things for people that are lower income. Uh, SNAP benefits don't cover uh, those kind of personal hygiene products. Oh, okay. So um, it can be tough for them to get those kind of things a lot of time, and that's why, partly why we're going to be doing this uh, hygiene drive. And, and on a serious note, as things uh, are tight for families or individuals, mm -hmm. that's the stuff where you start eliminating mm -hmm. and say, well, I need yeah. food before I jump exactly. into that stuff. Yeah. So, um, so. So, so where, where do, can people drop this stuff off at again? We're going to have boxes in the high school uh, for students, and then we're going to have a box here at Farmers um, and Northwest Bank and the Merck and Dancers Reflection and Missy's and hopefully a couple of other places, but that'll be starting on Monday. Wow. And that'll be going for two weeks. Very yeah. nice. So, again, you guys are asking the community to step up and yeah. help if out. If you can donate, we would appreciate it. Yeah. If, even if every, you know, everybody that's able donated one item. One I mean, item. I was talking the other day, when you go to the dentist and they give you a, a free toothbrush yeah. or toothpaste, not everybody um, 
necessarily needs a new toothbrush every six months. So, um, you know, that's something that you can donate, even if you don't have a whole lot else to uh, to put in. So. Well, you know, a lot of people are going to be heading into the, the store this weekend to get groceries. And, you know, as you're going through the aisles, just grab an extra item. Yeah. 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 Yeah, even no if doubt. everybody everybody donates one thing, mm-hmm. I would make a huge impact. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that runs for two weeks. Yeah. And then, do, do you guys handle the distribution of that stuff, or do you hand it off to Rotary or United Way? Well, so yeah. yeah uh, <laughs> so um, at that point, we'll see what we've collected, how much of you know each thing, um, kind of decide where we would like to send it to after that. So if we have more of a certain product that might be better suited for students or for um, older people or for women or, you know, whatever it be, um, then we will decide from there and, and talk with Stacy and figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. Great. That's awesome. So this is the, the big project for the next couple of weeks? Yep. It's a yep. pretty big project. Yeah. We have it going in a lot of different places in the community. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, this be has good. been in the works for a couple months now, yeah. putting it together. And then once we're done with this, we'll be straight into the ham dinner. Yeah. Uh, so that'll be a big, a big event too. And where will that take place? Uh, that is a very good question. We're, we yeah, need we're Julia not, on yeah, we're not for that one. Yeah, that one, but it will be coming. I'm sure we'll okay. be back again to talk and, and about And there'll be that. ham. So there yeah. will be ham. Okay, that's good. That's good. What are some of uh, uh, the projects you've worked on in the past? Uh, so we did stuff the bus. That's our really that's big a, one. That's a big that's one. The main. And that that's uh, usually kicked off uh, around oil festival time, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. Like the a parade. parade. Yeah. 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 Um, it's actually kind of similar to what we're doing, like the way we're collecting stuff. And we have to like separate everything into sections. So that's yeah. kind of what we're doing here, but just with different products. Yeah, uh, we did that. And then um, on a little bit of a different note, we do High School Heroes, which we haven't done mm-hmm. in a couple of years now, haven't unfortunately. Been able to go into school. Um, okay. But we go in. And it's and not because there haven't been heroes, it's just because. No, no, it's just because busy of COVID. With the- COVID <laughs> and, yeah. And, yeah. Um, but we go in and read to uh, kids at the ECLC, and we put on, you know, a mask and a cape and Teach some of thing. Yeah. Yeah. It always goes along with yeah. something serious. But Yeah, so that's another one of our big things. But unfortunately, like I yeah. said, we haven't been able to for a couple of years now. Well, I see a lot of people have been out uh, reading to, uh, uh, like, the elementary schools uh, with Dr. Oh, Seuss. Yeah, yeah we just Yeah, Read Across that. America yeah. Day. We went, um, what, Tuesday? Tuesday, Tuesday yeah. morning and read it... Uh, Main Street, and so that that wasn't with uh, United Way, but you know it's yeah. that same Still concept. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's great. And you know what? Those kids love to see. Yeah. The older students come in and, and do. do that, yeah. and they look up to you, whether you know it or not. They do. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. So that's really cool that you guys do that. Yeah. Uh, so have you, have you? I know COVID kind of threw a lot of things off, but do you feel you've accomplished what you have sort of set out to do, or do you feel like there's some things left out on the table? Well. You know, I'm always hoping for more. Right. Um, so obviously, <laughs> I, I'm going to think that it's not quite as much as I'd like to do. But I think we've done a very good job. And hopefully, you know, with this, it'll go well. And, Under uh, the circumstances. Yeah. I, I think, think that we've good. done, whenever we say we're going to do something, we have done it. That's great. Um, mm-hmm. It's just that, obviously, with a lot of restrictions, we couldn't do a lot of the stuff we we're used to doing but i think like this is something new the ham dinner yeah. we're doing a lot of new things this year because everything's changing well but you've, you've got to adapt when things right. are so yeah. different i think yeah. we're still doing well yeah uh, let's do this real quick you're watching the morning drill on stream television and on armstrong's neighborhood channel and listening to it on the allegheny news talk sports network uh so uh, graduation's right around the corner. Uh, what are some of the lessons do you think will stick with you the rest of your life being involved in a program like this? Well, I would definitely say um, giving back to the community and, uh, you know, giving something, giving your time and effort uh, to help other people within the community is mm-hmm. huge. Um, that's something that I've really been trying to push on everybody, all, you know, 20 people that we have in our club, yeah. um, to get involved and, and really give their time to something something good yeah I would say pretty much the same thing it's really important to give back to your community because that's where you came from and I just think it's really nice to be able to be part of something that you can say like oh I helped this person and it's yeah. especially nice when you know the people and you know like the family that you helped mm-hmm. and it's just really re- rewarding so yeah. as you uh, further uh, your uh, schooling careers or whatever you're doing after graduation uh, 
and you get into a professional setting, would you look at getting involved in whatever community you're in, uh, their uh, United Way or their Rotary Clubs? Absolutely. Yes. Yeah, I think that's something that no matter where you are, uh, you're going to find a, a good group of individuals um, through Rotary or United Way that want to do some good in their community, wherever it, wherever it is. Yeah, yeah, they're all over the place. I think I would always look for look for them around communities and join. Do you get excited when you when you you know you come up with with something and you say okay we're we're doing this uh, is, does yeah. that yeah. fire you up a little bit yeah we, yeah, we get a little this. bit of an aha moment <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah yeah and uh, it's definitely something that well it's it's better than school yeah <laughs> um, you know you should get shirts that have that <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no but you know school. you know yeah, what you're, I mean you're like you're working it, towards something you're working right. towards something that's like um, very important right. exactly so. exactly yeah. so well you're bad. working towards graduation of being course in class, we are so. yes yeah <laughs> now you're both I'm sure very good students right yeah depends uh, on the day yeah we are <laughs> uh, you're involved in a lot of activities, uh, yeah. a lot of sports, so that's mm -hmm. that's great. All right, let's find out what you guys uh, are doing in the future. Who would like to start? You want to go ahead? Sure. After graduating? Um, after graduation, I plan to attend Edinburgh University, and I'm majoring in early childhood education. Oh, excellent. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm hoping to go to American University. I applied, and I'm still waiting to hear back. That's in Washington, D.C., and I'll be going for um, political science and public administration. Um, so, you know, people always complain about politics being me, me, me. But I, I think it really should be uh, focused on helping. Oh, here we go, typical politician. Of course, no, <laughs> no. But I, I think it, I think it really should be focused Take on helping moment. people, like 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 with this. Yeah. Um, I think that's really what's important. We've so. sort of lost that. Is what you're um, saying? Yeah. I okay. I don't see a whole lot of that. Um, you know, it depends on. You know, local level obviously is, is really good about helping people for the most part, but I just think that's something that we need to remember. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I think at first, Gavin, you said you were uh, planning to go to Pit Hole University, <laughs> but change that, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> good old PU. Uh huh. <laughs> well, speaking of PU and smells, uh, listen, if you want to help out to those in need, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. What are you doing? Let's recap. All right. We're collecting. Um, from the 7th to the 18th for our hygiene drive, you want to go ahead and read off what we're collecting. Anything from um, dental care, toothbrush, toothpaste, shampoo, conditioner, soap, tissues, deodorant, band-aids even, um, feminine hygiene products, hand sanitizer, washcloths, nail clippers, combs, brushes, antibacterial wipes, and shaving cream. Yep. Uh, the only things we're not going to be taking are medications and um, shaving razors and blades. Uh, obviously, that's just for, uh, you know, the simplicity Safety. of it. Safety. So yeah. we're going to be doing that again the 7th to the 18th. Uh, you can drop those off to Farmers Bank, Northwest Bank, uh, the Merck, Dancers Reflection, Missy's, or the high school. Have you found when you uh, challenge your fellow students to get involved in something mm -hmm. like that, uh, that they step up to that challenge? A lot of them do. For the most yeah. part, Good. yeah. Yeah. That's and, great. Um, you know, they're willing to put in the time and the effort, whether it be in school or out of school, uh, to put something together and, and do some good, yeah. Yep. All right, and then it's something that's on the horizon is the ham dinner. Yeah. We will yep. talk about that soon. Oh, we'll be back. So, uh, we, Don't okay, worry. We'll be back for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you, are you cooking or serving? Well, I'll be serving. serving. I can't it's, cook. Yeah, it's no. more of like our <laughs> other um, people in our group. They We kind of split in half, and yeah. we do this, and they do that. Yeah. So. You do the publicity. And let yeah. them do everything. Yes, yeah. <laughs> that's that's great. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of reminiscent of the uh, the the old uh, sweetheart spaghetti dinners that uh, Rotary used to hold yeah. at the high school, yeah. which were Very fantastic similar. events. Yeah. Yeah. So mm -hmm. um, now uh, I'm not sure if they've announced the winner yet, but uh, for somebody going into education, you should be proud of your dad. I think he was nominated for a big yeah. award. Yeah, the teal. Um, what best teacher something science teacher yeah he's in the top three right now so congratulations still, yeah still waiting to hear but and he teaches funny. where he teaches at maplewood high school um he's a biology teacher so yeah we're very proud of him excellent that's great uh and uh did you find growing up that uh you were kind of inspired by him being a teacher or yeah, where, where did that passion come from um it definitely came from actually both of my parents my dad has always been a very very good teacher 
and my mom is actually an interpreter for deaf children wow. at Cambridge Elementary. So, um, yeah, both of my parents are just very active in helping kids, education. They're very passionate about it, and I just kind of, I guess, got that too. Yeah, so, that's awesome. Yeah. Well, good luck. Thank you. Uh, Gavin, for you, uh, what got you excited about politics? Uh, well, <laughs> I've always had an interest in, in history, and I think politics ties into that, but... Um, you know, I, I don't really know where it came from. Uh, neither of my parents are super politically active people. But well, you, uh, They told me you were adopted. So oh, yeah, probably, yeah, that, that could part be Part of it. the reason. No, um, no I, I don't know. Uh, I think, you know, recently I've gotten involved in, uh, with city council um, as That's a junior, right. junior city councilman. I'll be back on Monday to talk with you more about that. Yeah. Um, but that is definitely something big recently. But, I, you know, it's just helping people in the community um, in any way I can, and I think that's something that I hopefully can do uh, going into that field. All right, so a big couple of weeks here for you guys. The community, step up and make those yeah. donations. Yep. And if you're he heading out this weekend to go to the store, just grab a few extra things. Yeah. And we would appreciate it. Drop we them definitely off the would. Box. And we know that the people that we're donating it to would definitely appreciate it too. Yeah. You, you mentioned uh, Stacy being involved. Anybody uh, at the school level involved with this or? Stacy comes in and, and uh, runs she, it. she comes in um, during our directed learning period which is our, our study hall and uh, so we put that all together and we run it past the superintendent um, Mrs. Keebler and uh, the principal Mr. Knapp and once we've got approval then we kind of run with it yeah, yeah. Well, guys best of luck thanks for coming in thank this morning you. Thank, thank you, you so much. All right, take